Hey guys, Vib Chan here. How are you guys doing? So right now, I'm gonna be getting into, as you can see by the title, the new Incredibles 2 official teaser trailer. Now, you guys know I'm a huge anime fan, but I'm also a huge Disney fan, as you can see by my username, but I never really talk about Disney. I, fre I, I reference it and all, but I don't really talk about it. So here I am. I'm gonna be reacting to the trailer. Uh, I always wanted to like, like, uh, review a movie or something but I'm scared to say the wrong thing or like just ruin it because I'm always like so frantic so yeah uh, Incredibles is probably like top three of my favorite Pixar movies like at the top of my head I can only think of Toy Story and Up as like the other two I mean there's probably some like good ones Finding Nemo and Monsters Inc and Inside Out but yeah I love me some Incredibles, let's see what this trailer has to do like oh my gosh the last Incredibles probably ended like 2003 2005 damn it's over like 10 years ago. Oh my gosh, so I'm so excited. I'm scared to click I remember like Like a few years back Disney Pixar announced that it was gonna come out in like 2019 or something so yeah, like I can see Jack Jack in that like a thumbnail right now, so yeah, and we know Jack Jack's power can like he can transform into like different elements or stuff like metal, fire, demon baby, and yeah, like what happened to Syndrome? He probably died because like no capes, said Edna. At the end of the first episode, the first movie, there was this uh, new villain, and then like they all look at each other and then they put on the man, da -da 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 -da. and then oh, I'm so excited. Should be talking about, it. and then they don't. I know like Mr. Incredible and. Elastigirl, they have their hero names, but uh, Dash and Violet, they don't have a hero name. So maybe they get one. I don't know. Let's see. I'm w I want to see Edna again. I want to see. Um... Oh, shoot. What's her name? Um, Yeah, her name was like Mystique or. No, no, no. That's from X Men. Mirage. Mirage. Her name was Mirage. Yeah, like, okay. Let's get into Frozone. Let's, let's see them all again. Full screen. Wait, wait, wait. Let me pause it really quick. The quality doesn't look that 480. No, we want uh, 720. Let's go, anyways. Oh my god, Jack Jack here. Dun da da. Yeah. Oh wow, he can. I mean, we can kind of see that he used laser because, like, he's. He can, like, change into anything, but seriously, man. The power! Is this from the first movie? Actually, oh, wait, no, it's not. Like, cause they didn't know about his power till the end. <laughs> oh, poor Bob. Summer 2018. Sorry, I screamed, but I thought it was coming out 2019. Or is that Toy Story 4 that's coming out in 2019? I messed up the dates, but holy crap. Oh my gosh, that's not even a minute. I thought it showed like a whole bunch more. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we got Dash's incredibly fast power. Violet, Violet's power is really interesting. She has force field and invincibility. Like she could like defeat them all if she masters the power, but you know, she's kind of like a shy girl. But at the end of the mo first movie, she gets like all her, all her confidence back and all that. Oh my gosh, like, like I said, Syndrome, I think, is gone because capes, no capes. I want Edna, I don't know, would you guys want them to have a different outfit? Because, like, that signature red suit is their, is their outfit. But, like, with Edna there, you think, maybe she'll add some, like, gadgets or something. Yeah, like, nowadays, I mean, I watch, like, shonen anime, so there's, like, heroes in all these, like, anime. But My Hero Academia is actually about... A heroes so I'm just trying to see like yeah cuz when you first watch this I really like the idea that heroes put in a modern society like we don't want like heroes to be saved. like the first guy he wanted to die and then mr. incredible saved him and then he's like why'd you save me now I have like broken bones and everywhere I'm gonna sue you and then people started to not want a hero like like my hero academia like grows on this idea like how to like there's like an agency behind it, like how you're gonna fit in a modern society, pay, like how are you getting paid and all that, and like the damages, if you break buildings and stuff, like insurance pay for that, like, like you know Power Rangers and stuff, they just destroy buildings and stuff, but who pays for that? How are you gonna fix a building after you destroyed it, right? There's all these like things you have to consider, and yeah, all the powers, 
yeah, Mr. Incredible, you know, he's like Superman, just super strong. And yeah, he just got depressed because obviously you're in your glory days. You're just like, I remember just watching him sitting in his room and he's looking up and all these like newspaper magazines about him being like the best hero out there. Yeah, and then like he wants to go back. Like now, you know, he's just like, well, at the beginning of the movie. I know I shouldn't be recapping because you guys probably watched the movie too. He's just like ugh, doing like insurance, so boring, bad uh, supervisor, boss, guy, like, psh, punches him through the walls, like, huh, I'm glad he got away, and then, yeah, I shouldn't have said that, dun, 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 and then the guy, I forgot his name, but he's worked for the government, and he relocates them, and he's like, I can't relocate my family anymore, because, yeah, we just settled in, like, Helen just opened the last box of moving, I don't know, the soundtrack for this is incredible, I wonder if Brad Bird is, like, directing the next, the sequel, mm-hmm, yeah, Frozone, he's a cool guy, yeah. I mean, they were like secretly doing missions and he's like, should we really be doing this? Yeah. I'm like a huge Disney fan, so I can't like see any flaws in this. Like maybe like the password thing to get in the computer was kind of, uh, yeah, too easy. Kronos, it goes in and then like, what's the password? Yeah, but that's really cool, like the technology that Syndrome had. Too bad he like, well, we don't know he died. We just assume because like, Edna's like, cape is your the destruction of things, yeah. Uh, yeah, but them suits, like, indestructible suits that, like, adjust to their abilities, that's really cool. And then at the end, she's like, why can't we let you fight? Like, you just want to live in your glory days. That's, like, one of my best part, one of the best parts in the movie. Like, we will fight with you, and he's like, no, I don't want to lose you guys anymore, because he thought he lost his wife when... Oh, my favorite part in the movie, like, the best emotional part, I always cry, is when that airplanes explode. That airplane explodes, and... His kids are still in there. Yeah. And then, yeah, he thought he lost it all. Because he knows his kids are in there. Like, he didn't know if all of them are just two or so. Obviously, Jack-Jack would be okay. But still, that's your his wife and kids. And then when she's like, what did she say? Abort, 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 abort. And then it just, she runs in. And I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. She jumps back to catch the kid and she makes a rap. And he thought they were all dead. And then Syndrome, <laughs> He, yeah, he's no hero. He, I mean, he's got all the gadgets. Like, I'm thinking of My Hero Academia. You got, yeah, like, your support, but you don't have the... You don't have any power, so it doesn't really, like, mix well. Like, the people who have powers use it, and then the support people should stay in the back. Because Syndrome can make some pretty incredible gadgets, like that one, like, freezing thing. Yeah, but let's not talk about him. He's not gonna be in there. Like, who's the new villain? Like, like I said earlier, like, I remember that, like, mining guy was at the end, and then they put on their masks, da dun dun da dun But I guess, like, Jack-Jack might be the star. Yeah, I didn't want to see Violet. Dash is pretty funny. Yeah, but I know, he's just a kid. He wants some, like, glory, and then his mom doesn't let him run. But at the end, he's like, I'll set it for second place. Yeah, and then, like, Violet gets the, that confidence back, and she's like, ooh, Tony Ridinger. Like, he's coming for her, not she's coming for him. Yeah. Wanna go get some movies? Yeah. Whoosh. Yeah, I can't wait to see what this next movie is. I can't wait for an official trailer. Like, the thing with trailers is, like, do you want to watch the trailer? Because, like, recently, like, you watch a trailer and it, like, reveals so much. I remember watching Zootopia and I was scared. Like, the Zootopia trailer and I was scared. Like, whoa, it just, like, revealed so much. I mean, the big thing was, like, the sloth joke. But I was scared it would just reveal everything in the movie. Ah, I'm so excited. Yeah, tell me what, what you thought of the first movie, what you think, how do you feel about the second one, do you, like, they wouldn't write a second, a sequel if it's not good. Like, so far, Finding Dory for me was alright, it was entertaining and good, but it wasn't like, wow, but Toy Story 2, I love Toy Story 2, like, they would not make a sequel if it was not good, like, Toy Story 3 was incredible too, I, I bawled in the theaters, I cried, hyperventil, like, I lost it at the theaters, I had to go to the restroom after Toy Story 3, but Toy Story 4, like, I know, um, Bo, Beep, yeah, she's coming back, and I wonder how they're gonna make a story, like, they will not make a story unless it's good, like, people are like, we want a second movie, but, like they said, they won't make a movie unless it's good, so this better be good. I'm excited for it. You tell me your thoughts on both movies. And uh, yeah, I keep rambling on and on, but I'm just so excited. I love The Incredibles. So uh, yeah, or tell me your favorite Pixar movies, Disney movies in the comments down below. I'll be sure to read them. I'm so excited. And the peace out, guys. Oh, and don't forget, Coco's coming out like Thanksgiving, Wednesday. Actually, Wednesday. 
Thursday is Thanksgiving, so I'm not gonna watch it on time, but I'll try to make a review on Coco when that comes out. Yeah, so uh, peace out guys. Thanks for watching.